Okay, today or now I'm going to try explaining the uh, dew point and relative humidity chart. And this will help you determine what the dew point is and what the relative humidity is. Um, if you can, I highly recommend you print this off. It'll make your life easier. And if you can't, um, I understand. Uh, so as we take a look at it, the top part is for the dew point and the bottom part is for the relative humidity. So one thing that I recommend is that you highlight, if you can, in one color, that it's which one is which. And how this works is we have the x-axis is going to be the difference between the wet bulb and the dry bulb. And I want you to highlight that too because this is going to be something you are going to mess up. I shouldn't say that. It's something that students mess up a lot. The difference. Okay. So as we take a look at this, these numbers are not the wet bulb or the dry bulb. They are the difference. Um, or sometimes it's called the depression. So how much has the wet bulb gone down compared to the dry bulb? Over here is going to be the dry bulb temperature, which is also the outside temperature. So if we take a look at this particular worksheet that you're going to be working on, you are given the dry bulb and the wet bulb. Okay, So you're given the dry bulb and the wet bulb. Dry bulb of 12, wet bulb of 7. So as we take a look at this, the dry bulb of 12, so we can come down here, here's 12, and we have a wet bulb of 7. 820 time for school to begin. Um, so dry bulb of 12, wet bulb of 7. So the difference between 7 and 12 is 5. So if we are here at 12 and we go over 5, we see that we have a dew point of 1. That's 1 degree Celsius. Okay. So the mistakes that you are going to make on this are you're going to want to do the 7 because the wet bulb was 7 but we need to have the difference. So the difference is one. That's gonna be a big thing. The next thing that you might mess up on is as you count, if you go one, two, three, four, five, that's gonna mess you up. Where we actually have zero, we start at zero. So for the dew point, we have zero at 12. So we go zero, one, two, three, four, five. And that's how we find the dew point. Okay, So if we take a look at this, we are going to have a wet bulb depression of 5. And we are going to have a dew point of 1. Now if we take a look at the relative humidity, here's the relative humidity. Once again, we have the difference between the wet bulb and the dry bulb. Exact same thing. One of the problems that get, will get you mixed up is they are so close. So that's why I do highlight the relative humidity and the dew point. We still come down to 12 and we still have a difference of 5. So if we go down 12 and over 5, we have a relative humidity of 48%. So our relative humidity is 48%. Okay. And I'm not concerned about you putting in the degrees Celsius or the relative humidity being in a percentage. I want you to understand it and that the dew point um, is in degrees Celsius. Yeah, I need you to understand it before a worksheet. I don't necessarily need you to, to write that in. Okay. So that is how this chart works. If we come down here and let's take a look at number six. Number six is a little bit different. Well, and so it's five, but let's take a look at six. It says our wet bulb is 16, but it has a depression of four. Well, that means our dry bulb is up here and our wet bulb is down here. The difference between them is four. So our dry bulb must be 
20. Okay, so we have a dry bulb of 20, a wet bulb of 16. We have a depression of 4, which gives us a relative humidity of 66, and we need to find the dew point. So if we take a look at our dew point, 20 uh, and our depression is 4, dew point 20, depression of 4, it appears like we are 14 over 20, up 4, 14. Okay. Um, and like this one here, I should have changed uh, because it's an odd number. Just go in between. So find 10, find 12, and go ahead and find the, the number in between there. Or either or, uh, it, it's okay. I should have changed that beforehand. Um, I'm sorry about that. So let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.